recording in Pro Tools using Logic, Digital Performer, Cubase, Nuendo, Reason, or Ableton Live? Let us mix your project today. We will give your songs a sound that rivals today's hottest acts. Visit eneonicity.com for more details. Welcome and congratulations on your decision to buy Pro Tools 7 LE. By now you have connected your Mbox, Mbox 2 or Digi002 interface, have loaded the software, and are now looking at the Filter Dream demo, which also is included in the main disk of the Pro Tools software. Right now what I'm going to do is give you a brief description of what it is that you are seeing in front of you so that you can become more familiar with Pro Tools and get to work. Over here in the left corner, we have the four different edit modes, Shuffle, Spot, Slip, and Grid. Right next to that is the different zoom modes for audio and MIDI. Over here we have six different edit tools, the zoomer, trim tool, selector, grabber, scrubber, and pencil tool. Next we have the counter, which you have two to choose from, a main and a sub. In the next box we have start and in length selection, which will enable you to pinpoint certain edits and also visually see where you are when you're making edits. On the right we have the transport, which is just like any CD player or tape recorder that you've seen. has all the same functions, stop, play, record, return to zero, rewind, fast forward, go to end. On the black bar underneath, the first two items are basically a track view and also a time view. Underneath that we have all of the tracks. On the right of the tracks are the bars and beats, minutes and seconds, tempo, and marker rulers, all of which help guide you as to where you are in the sequence. Underneath that we have all of the different tracks. On the right we have the regions, which are all the different MIDI and audio regions for the sequence. And then over here is the main edit window, which is basically the visual interface for Pro Tools, which is what's great about digital recording is that you can really see what you hear. What I'm going to do now is play the sequence and just go through a few basic functions in this window. And then I'm going to pop over to the edit window and show you a few things there, just to help you get familiar with the software. The quick key command to start off a sequence is the space bar. What you're hearing right now is the drum edit track. And underneath where the track name is, I'll explain what some of these various buttons do. R is for track record. S is for solo, which if I enable, will only play this particular track, in this case the drum edits. If I hit M, it does the opposite of solo. It'll play everything except that particular track. Next to that is your ticks or samples settings. A is for automation. And this is for your track view and height selector. Down here at the bottom, we have the MIDI information, which was used in recording the various soft synths, which you're hearing now by third-party applications. Now we're going to go to the mix window. A quick key command to do that is to hit Apple and then the plus sign. And this is our mixer window. There are two basic windows in Pro Tools. There is your edit window and your mix window. We have been seeing mostly the edit window, now we are looking at the mix window. You can see all of the tracks going on right now. And you'll also see your record, solo, and mute functions again. Down here we have some comments that were made. Inputs and output sections. Pan. What we have up here are all the different plugins. In the next section below, underneath the gray, is all the different bus assignments for various auxiliary effects. Over here, we have all the various inputs and outputs and automation modes. And then your pans, record, solo, mute, and your volume settings. And this concludes the first lesson.